this is your reminder if you are the second or third owner of boats be sure to check your battery cables this boat has battery over there battery over there the battery disconnect is on this side and the owner had replaced the cables a few times they weren't proper we had two op feeding each from each battery positive side going across to here to feed all the electronics and start from that but he had two hot feeding, but on this side, he had a nice two gauge generic battery cable that you can find in any auto parts store, predetermined ends that goes down from the battery to the starter. A little long, but it was fine. And then on battery number two, we had this little tiny uh, six gauge wire. They were not the same length, so battery charging would not be balanced, let alone the gauge size was substantially different so if there was ever an emergency normally the way most people do is they start on battery number one so that way if there's ever an issue where battery number one fails or runs out of power you have battery number two to get the engine started if you were doing that all the groundwork was being done by this little tiny cable where it went from the battery and then coiled up and mounted on the back side of the engine block back here so only had to run two feet with a four feet cable that was way too small. The over amperage draw on that was extremely uh, bad. So that could have caused a fire on a boat just by uh, working the starter too hard. So the problem was corrected by switching two two uh, cables from the battery to the backside engine block ground in the very back of the engine, and then battery to starter ground and then also tied everything together between that starter ground block to that ground on the back side so everything is tied together all the grounds are together and with boats having extra ground cables help substantially i even added one from that background stud all the way up to the intake here and then even added another ground for the alternator because alternators do tend to like having more grounds as well just to help keep the electrical system happy in this boat and prevent fires and any problems down the road so make sure to check your battery cables what size and just making sure that the condition is good because even a good size terminal a good size cable has bad terminals that can give you bad connections and when loaded up bad connections create heat which in them can cause a fire so be sure to check your battery cables i actually had one season on this boat before i really dug into the electronics and yeah we were finding some major problems with this boat so be sure to check it all